Okay, here is another separable differential equation. Uh, this is the uh, Newtonian notation, so we just need to think of this really in Leibniz form, where it's dy over dx. So this will become then uh, dy dx equals, well, if I write xy over, and then I divide this, x squared plus 1. Now the question is just how do we separate those? Well, if I think of this as one part, that's the x part, and then I can take this and put it underneath. I'll just cross that out if I go y to the minus 1, like that. And now they're diagonally opposite. If Again, if we think of this as just being multiplied by that. So this becomes then uh, the integral of x over x squared plus 1 dx equals then the integral of 1 over y dy. All right, so now it's just a matter of integrating those. This one looks like this is u substitution, where u is equal to x squared plus 1. So du is equal to 2x dx, or 1 half du is equal to x dx. So then I'm just going to write that over here. This becomes then, after I've made that substitution, right, that's just 1 over u. So this becomes the ln of u, which was x squared plus 1. And then don't forget, it's 1 half of that. So 1 half ln of x squared plus 1. And um, I like having the plus c over here. Then that's going to be equal to the ln of y. All right. So what do I do with this? Well, I would love to get y by itself. So um, I can do that if I get this all written as a logarithm. And then I can raise each side to e or just undo that. So this 1 half comes in and I get ln of the square root of x squared plus 1. And if I'm separating logs, then this would be um, put it as a ln of e, so that c can come inside. I don't know if I hope that's clear, but if I write it like this, ln of e to the c, maybe that'll make it more clear, right? Because the c would come out front, and ln of e is 1, and that would be gone. So now I've got the sum of two logs, so that is then the ln of the product, so that's going to be e to the c, then radical x squared plus 1. And that's equal to the ln of y, which now if I raise uh, e raised to each side like this, that'll undo it, and I get then e to the c radical x squared plus 1 is equal to y. All right, so that is the solution to that. And uh, this is where that constant term is.